This is where we left in the previous video. So let's continue from here. In this video, we are going to display loading and error in case we're going to have one. Then we are going to hide this form if this user has a shipping address and display the shipping address instead of the form. First of all, let's work on the loading. So we need to grab the data from the store. And if you look at the store, when the user updates the shipping address, we have loading true and when everything goes right, loading is false. So we can go ahead and destructure it from the store. So back to the add shipping address component. Let's bring in new selector and we have it here already. And down here is going to be use selector. Then we have access to the states and let's return the users. Then let's destructure the user and comma loading and error as that. Down here, you can see that we are displaying the shipping address of the user. For the meantime, ignore this. And let's focus on the loading part of it. So let's also remove this placeholder. And is equal to that. So let's check one more time. Inside the state, we have users loading and we have the actual user here. And inside of this user, we have the nested user and then the shipping address. So we need to dive in to get the actual user details, but let's move step by step. So over here, let's bring in the loading component and then the success message component and the error message component. Down here for the button, we are going to make condition to check, which is this. So I will select and cut it and make use of loading. Then we will display the loading component. Otherwise, let's display the button. And for the error, I want to display it here as in case we have an error then we will display the error message components and pass in the message as error dot message all right let's save it and let's see if you're gonna have some errors and everything is fine next step is we need to display the shipping address over here instead of this so the caveat here is that we don't have access to the shipping address of the user because at the time the user logs in or register, the user don't have any shipping address. But after the placement of order in the cart, that is where we are adding the shipping address. So we need to create an action to get a user profile on the user profile we have all the properties about the user. So let's get into that in the next video.